Hello and welcome to Count Cells Between Dates. My name's Jeff, I'm glad you're here. Let's just jump right in. All right, in this short video, we're gonna count the number of cells that contain date values that fall between two dates. Now, this is not like counting the number of days between two dates. We could do that with the days function or a simple subtraction operator. Exercise one. All right, the countifs function counts the number of cells that meet one or more conditions. In this warm-up exercise, we're gonna keep it simple with a single condition. The first argument is the range of cells we're trying to count, comma. The second argument is the criteria. I wanna count all of those cells that equal A, and I enclose that in quotes and hit enter. So apparently there are two A cells. Let's just double check, here's one here, Here's one here, and yes, that's two. So that's a simple warm up. We're counting the number of cells that are equal to the value A. Let's go to the next exercise, exercise two. In this exercise, we're gonna talk about comparison operators. So now what we wanna do is count the number of cells that are between 90 and 100. So this is gonna take multiple conditions. Equals, count ifs. All right, once again, the first argument is the range that has the cells we're trying to count, and then a comma. And then we can do the criteria. So we could do 90 if we wanted to count the number of cells that had the value 90. But instead, we want to count the number of cells that are greater than or equal to 90. Now the problem is I can't just enter this, I'll get an error, because the syntax is I have to enclose that criteria in quotes. So in other words, I have to open quote and end quote. So that's how we define this argument, comma and where these cells are less than or equal to 100. Close the function and enter. So before I hit enter, let's review. I'm asking the countifs function to count the number of these cells that are greater than or equal to 90 and where these cells are also less than or equal to 100. Enter. And now we got it. And apparently there are three. Let's just double check. One, two, three, and yes, got it. So that's taking the next step with multiple conditions along with comparison operators. Let's go to the next exercise, exercise three. All right, this is what it's all been leading to. So we know how we can use the countifs function with multiple conditions and comparison operators. And finally, we need to find out how to point it to a cell reference. So equals count ifs. We wanna count the number of these cells, comma, that are greater than or equal to and then I'm gonna do the concatenation operator to join the value that's here, comma, and where these cells, comma, are less than or equal to, once again, we need to join that with the concatenation operator, this value, close function. And by the way, if you don't prefer to use the concatenation operator, we can certainly use the concatenate function, um, no worries there, enter and now we've got it. And what's nice is I could say, hey, let's just count the number of cells that are between 11 and 131. Enter, and this is fully dynamic because this points to these cell values, okay? Cool? All right, hey, hopefully this helps you count the number of cells between two dates. Thanks for joining me, have a great day. Hey, Excel user, if you ever need to create summary reports, check out my Pivot Table for Beginners video. It starts at the beginning and shows how to store the data transactions in a table, and then how to summarize those transactions with a Pivot Table report. I hope it helps unlock the incredible power of Pivot Tables. This video is a production of Excel University. 